हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड व्यूवर्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल ए वी समर्पण जर्नी ऑफ लाइफ साइंस माई सेल्फ विकास इन दिस वीडियो वी शेल डिस्कस द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ एसचान क्लास सेवन चैप्टर वन न्यूट्रिशन इन प्लांट्स सो लेट्स कम टू स्टार्ट दीज आर द शॉर्ट क्वेश्चन एंड द क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स इज द फर्स्ट शॉर्ट क्वेश्चन सो मैच द फॉलोइंग इन द ए पार्ट इट इज मैंशन क्लोरोफिल नाइट्रोजन अमरबेल एनिमल्स इंसेक्ट्स एंड इन पार्ट बी दैट मीन्स इन कॉलम बी इट इज मैंशन राइजोबियम हाइड्रोट्रॉप्स पीचर प्लांट लीफ एंड पैरासाइट सो लेट्स कम टू मैच क्लोरोफिल क्लोरोफिल इज रिलेटेड टू लीफ ओके द सेकेंड वन इज नाइट्रोजन इट इज रिलेटेड टू राइजोबियम बैक्टीरिया द थर्ड वन इज अमरबेल इट इज अ पैरासाइटिक प्लांट द नेक्स्ट वन इज एनिमल्स ऑफकोर्स इट इज हेट्रोट्रॉप्स द लास्ट वन इज इंसेक्ट्स रिलेटेड टू पीचर प्लांट दैट trap insects or eat insects so come to the next question that is question number 27 how would you test the presence of starch in leaves i have made a separate video for the test of starch in potato it is like that but in this case first pluck a green leaves then boil it to make it soft after that with the help of alcohol bleach it that is the process of the removing of chlorophyll or green color so the leaf become colorless and after that pour few drops of iodine solution on the leaves the color will be changed into blue black that represent the presence of starch in leaves okay so the next question that is question number 28 what is special about the leaves that they can synthesize food but other parts of a plant cannot it is not completely true question but of course it is right in this way plants make the food with the help of leaves as it contains green pigment that is called chlorophyll that trap the sunlight and convert the solar energy into chemical energy for the processing of the formation of food also in leaves stomata is present that helps in the exchange of gases and entrance of the carbon dioxide for this this process but the other parts are not green and they have not chlorophyll for the processing of photosynthesis but in newly growing plants when the stems or some branches are green it process photosynthesis but according to question only leaf have chlorophyll and they can synthesize synthesize a uh, food so the next question that is question number 29 in addition to carbon dioxide and water state two other conditions necessary for the process of photosynthesis carbon dioxide and water we know for the process of photosynthesis carbon dioxide water chlorophyll and sunlight is needed carbon dioxide and water is mentioned so the other one chlorophyll and sunlight okay the next question that is identify the organism as autotroph saprophyte symbiotic partial heterotroph and parasite so lichen is 
रिलेटेड टू सिम्बायोटिक मशरूम इज रिलेटेड टू वेर इज इट सेप्रोफाइट दैट गेट देयर फूड फ्रॉम द डेड एंड डी की ऑर्गेनिज कस्कटा इज अ पैरासाइटिक प्लांट वेयर इज इट ऑफकोर्स पैरासाइट ग्रास ऑटोट्रॉफ ऑफकोर्स ऑटोट्रॉफ एंड पीचर प्लांट दैट इज पार्शियल हाइड्रोट्रॉफ एज दे ट्रैप इंसेक्ट फॉर गेटिंग द प्रोटीन द नेक्स्ट वन दैट इज द क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी वन वाई टू ऑर्गेनिज्म नीड टू टेक फूड टू मेन मोड्स ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन इन ऑर्गेनिज्म organism need food for different purposes as food is very important for the organism it provide energy to do physical activities it helps in the growth of organism it helps in the repairing of the damaged body parts it helps in the body to fight against disease so food is very important part so now the next part of this question two main modes of nutrition in organism two main modes of nutrition are autotrophic nutrition and heterotrophic nutrition okay the next questions you will get very soon in next video as it was very difficult to write all the questions on the board so just wait very soon you will get the next questions of this chapter i think this video is helpful for you so if you get knowledge from this video please give a like thank you